Hello, my friends, I'm Lori Baracco, and I welcome you to my predictions for the week of December 24th, 2023. And for the month of December, I've been using the Yuletide Tarot by Christopher Hughes, and the artwork is by Aaron O'Leary Brown. All right, away we go. Let's see what this week has in store for us. And um, I do know we have a full moon in Cancer that will be taking place on December 26th. So um, Cancer is a water sign. So just be mindful that with the full moon, it brings up our emotions and our feelings. And then we're going to add the energy of Cancer. So lots of uh, having the deep feels, um, the good ones and the challenging ones, just kind of keep that in the back of your mind as you gather with family and friends. And um, I know that for some people, this is a really difficult time of the year. So sending all of you so many blessings and, and virtual hugs. All right, so let's see what this week has in store for us. I'm gonna grab a card from the front of the deck, the middle, and the back of the deck. So let's see what this week has in store for us. We have the chariot, which is the astrological sign of cancer. So there is that full moon in cancer, and that's a chariot. It's about balance and um, being mindful of where we're at, kind of dialing things back, pulling, reeling things in. So con being mindful and controlling our emotions or kind of gauging where we're at with things. Um, then we have the Ace of Canes reversed, which is the Ace of Swords reversed. So maybe we're not quite sure of um, and, and not receiving clarity with some of the things that are taking place in our life. And with that full moon in Cancer, we might be um, feeling a little lost with that. And Cancer is also the sign of um, home and family and close relationships, that sacred space that we have where we go for nurturing, replenishing, rejuvenating, recalibrating, and maybe we're not quite feeling um, uh, supported in that way too. Let's see what else Spirit's bringing through for us. Then we have the child reverse, which is the fool reverse. That's the last card. So um, I'm hearing the message from Spirit, watch your energy, just watch your energy. And this came up during my psyche development class today. So it's it's repeating itself that we are responsible for our own energy. You, we could say that we were triggered or we, be, we reacted because this person did this, that, and the other thing, but we are responsible for our energy and the energy that we add to situations. And we hold the controls of what we allow to kind of get inside our personal space, into our minds, our bodies, our spirits. So we are not victims. We are participants, active participants, and we make choices all the time. So um, uh, I advise everyone, myself included, to find the balance of things to be, you know, keep an eye on where we're at with things. Are we too far in this direction or that direction to try to find our center? And by finding our center, it means to be grounded, to be in the present moment, to try to uh, not allow ourselves to be triggered, to fly off the handle. And if there is a negative reaction, to, to kind of trace it back. So what what is doing that? What is, what is, triggering me in that way? What can I do to change that? How can I change my reaction? And again, we are responsible for our reactions. And that last card, that that um, child, the fool reversed, is saying, try not to be foolish. Try not to, um, you know, just do things spontaneously without mapping things out to the future, especially during this Mercury retrograde phase. All right, everybody. So I wish all of you a very happy, healthy holiday season. Um, I'll be coming at you next week as well. And I did want to just drop in just a little something here at the end. So many of you are um, aware that I have made the executive decision. I've announced this executive decision to um, combine both stores, both Mystical Moon storefronts. I have been in Fort Myers. I've had a presence in Fort Myers for 17 years. It all started at the Island Park Mystical Moon in 2007. And in 
I've done a lot of soul searching and I definitely am paying attention to spirit guiding me and this is the right time, it's the right season as my lease comes to completion in Fort Myers after 10 years and being at that one location. We started out in Island Park, we moved to Daniels Parkway in that area in 2014 and I have decided not to renew the lease up there. I know um, I'm gonna miss that area, but this is a proactive decision that gives me more time and space to channel my energy down here at the Vanita store. For me um, to be able to see my clients right now, we're looking at a year and a half private session wait list. So I want to be able to see my clients more frequently or sooner than later, um, to be able to mentor, to teach. I have so many different things in the queue that I'm excited to um, to launch that are just waiting for that go, pre, go let it go button. And then, um, and then also I want to be able to travel and spend more time with family. This location in Benita is up for renewal in 2025. I will be renewing this lease. The online store has blown up like gangbusters. So that is its own store in itself. And we will have a Fort Myers presence um, probably sometime February or March with Sanibel Candle. We'll be merging with them and they will be carrying some of our products uh, for the Fort Myers people and they are at the Bell Tower. And um, and uh, I will be offering hopefully crystal bowl meditations up there as well as seeing some of my Fort Myers based clients. I thank all of you so much for your love and support and it's been so beautiful to hear people say, what can I do? How can I help? And we will follow the mystical moon wherever you go. We'll just drive down to Benita. We will go and go to the beach and it's worth the drive. So thank you so much. It's been so beautiful to be held, to be loved and appreciated. And I am so grateful for all of you. And so have a beautiful holiday season. I'll see you soon and sending you all so much love. The love that you sent to me, I send it right back out to you in this beautiful loop of love. Namaste. Bye-bye.